From Los Angeles, it's the John Kerwin Show. I'm your announcer, Justin Nottingham, along with Nicholas Burns and the Night Owls. Tonight's guest, Kevin Ryan, with musical guest, Keaton Simon. And now, here's your host, John Kerwin! Some good double clapping right over there. Um, tonight's guest is one of the stars of the new BBC America TV series, Copper. Please welcome to the show, Kevin Ryan. Hey, how you doing? Hey, John. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming on the show. Congratulations on this, uh, this new uh, show. This is yeah. a Barry Levinson show. The great Barry Levinson who directed... Yes. Rain Man and uh, yes. uh, Diner and uh, so many great films. Yeah, he's done so much amazing work that it was it was incredible to work with him. When yeah. I got the gig, it was like Barry Levinson. <laughs> he's still alive, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, so let's uh, bleep great. out that one word. And uh, <laughs> you're from Ireland, is that right? I am. That probably explains the bad language. Uh, <laughs> um, and the, yes. and the bottle of Jack you had backstage. <laughs> is that not Jack? <laughs> Hold on a second. What is that? It's, it's, it's something you probably haven't tasted before. It's called water. It's water. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you're from Ireland, and how long have you been in the States? Is this like, um, did you come for this show, or um, have you been, were you living here before? No, there was a famine going on, so we just left and came uh -huh. over here, and here I am. <laughs> um, no, I've been out here for years, and uh, back and forth. And the last couple of years, I was away back in Ireland uh, working. I was on a show and a film. And then I came back to LA and I was like, yes, we get some good weather again. And then I went to Toronto in winter. Ah, yeah. Because so, is it cold in uh, Ireland? Uh, it's cold in Ireland, but it's more wet. Um, whereas in Toronto, it's just bloody Baltic. I mean, it's just freezing. Ah. Um, which is interesting because at the start of the shoot, we're, 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 we're set in New York in winter. So at the start of the shoot, we were saying, okay, well, let's put five layers on for our mm -hmm. wardrobe. So we have like five layers, two big jackets. And then it comes to like April, May, and it's 70, 80 degrees. And you're like, I'm just, I'm gonna just slip a layer off me for a second because it's roasting, you know? Right, right. So it was, it was it's, fun. It's 95 degrees here in Encino, and it's 125 degrees here in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing temperature, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're a good looking guy. You water, right? You're a good looking guy. Everybody, everybody uh, is pointing out that you're um, one of the hot new guys in Hollywood. And to be honest, next to you, I, I don't feel any, any, uh, any bit different. <laughs> what are you looking at? What was that? <laughs> I saw your microphone wire move there, sorry. Oh. <laughs> now, is it true that you came from eight generations of stone cutters in Ireland? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. My First of all, for those who don't for... know, what is a stone cutter? Oh, it's a secret club that we just hang out in weird robes and poke each other. No, it's not. I know that much. No, it's, a, I mean, working with granite. I mean, my family did everything from sort of paving the streets of Ireland to Celtic crosses to... Why aren't there stone cutters here in America? If you have, because we have to pave the streets here. Because it's asphalt? Is that what it is? No, you have Ikea. <laughs> Ikea. <laughs> so technically, the employees at Ikea could be called stone cutters. Yes. Yeah. Stone cutters. Sounds a little bit better than clerk. Yeah. Yeah, although um, I, I think you'd carve something out of stone longer than, or, you know, quicker than you would putting one of those Ikea things together. Yeah. It's, it's difficult, isn't it? Especially it once, is. once there's an Allen wrench involved, I'm, I'm lost. Kids get it really fast, but adults just don't. That's right. You can't That's get right. it. There's yeah. a child in our audience today that actually built this studio before we did it today. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. How does your, feel, how's your family feel about you coming to Los Angeles? Do they feel like um, you should have stayed back home, or uh, are they happy for you coming to L.A.? Oh, they're delighted. I mean, yeah, I mean, taking on, I guess, anything in the entertainment world, you're never guaranteed success or even to work or just maintain a good sort of life. Um, so it's always a risk for an artist to do that. And, um, yeah, they've been wonderfully supportive of me coming out here. And, um, yeah, now that, you know, something's on the air and a few films and that. Yeah, they've been great. They're, they're excited. What was the first project you had at America? Was it, was it uh, Copper? Um, I was getting my visa, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... <laughs> A lot of fans of the movie getting your visa. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Starring Homeland Security. <laughs> I heard that you have an unusual acting technique where you act with one eye. Now, what does that mean? Do I? Uh, oh, the, sh the show. 
It's one eye in the show. I have to wear a contact lens in the show. Why is that? The tree is attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kia. It's after yeah. me. It's flirting um, with you. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, in the show, uh, originally it was supposed to be, my character was to wear an eye patch. Um, okay. Because there was something to do with pirates, no. Um, Excuse me, let but me get we that. It's starting to bother me now. Let me see. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna be doing that yeah. all day. Now. Um, but yeah, we we developed it that uh, it was a contact lens. So basically, I'm blind in one eye. And Wait, I what's the, the purpose of it? Why would the, you do it was it? an old boxing injury that the character has. He's an ex-boxer. Oh, I see. And that prevented um, Maguire from going to uh, the Civil War. Um, so yeah, they have this. Uh, Lens that it's like a white, uh, white, like it's kind of like being in cloudy bath water, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, so I can't see, so it's like you know, well, you can see with one eye, yes, right, which is kind of strange, yeah, if you do it for six months because yeah. you don't have um, what is it, um, a 3D vision, right? Well. Well, you do, but you don't have uh, what's the word, peripheral, peripheral, or, yeah, I guess. you don't have it, you're lost with it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. And it's a great like tool because I was playing with my eye muscle a lot, so I flicker it when I'm talking to people, ah. interrogating people. I see. Interesting. Now, now I saw a video where um, you uh, you do a very cool character. You, you know, you have very very cool moves, and I'm always impressed by this because I have none. And <laughs> the one move I really liked was when you you smoke a cigarette, right? Okay. And it's just you smoke it really cool, and then you okay. do this flick, which is like. Super cool, and then okay. it, like, it, it cuts away. And I thought okay. maybe um, uh, you might be able to teach me that. Um, and uh, would you guys like to see that? Oh, see yeah. me try to go? Right. No, there's, no, there's, no, no there's, 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 only, there's only one problem, John. I actually don't smoke. So. Well, I got cigarettes here if you need. Do you have? Oh, well. <laughs> so what are we doing? Do I get to have a cigarette? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, you can Fantastic. have. Great. All right. <laughs> okay. This is a first, by the way. Yeah. Because we need this studio to be hotter. <laughs> Let's just move this over here because I'm afraid it's going to go up in flames. <laughs> all right, so you're smoking, all right? Okay, I am, yeah. All right. I'm smoking. Now that See, that, that looks pretty cool. It's very relaxed and natural right there. It should be, yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I can pretend this is a pint then as well, and we're just having a good little time. But it's really not. It's water. Yeah. Okay. Well, you did a move like this, like this. Okay. What was the okay. move that you did when you smoked it? You kind of like went like that? What did I do? I don't. Yeah, well, all right. See, it's, it's mystical like to me. That sort of thing, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. One more time, let me just see that one more time. That I one, think I may I think have that's it. that's like that. All right. And then back in. I don't know. Back in, back in. <laughs> look at that, look at that. There it goes. I'm gonna ask you. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> now do the flick, like right over there. Somebody's ready to catch it. Okay. So where so, are we? Oh, in that little thing? No, no, you don't have to aim. No, he's just gonna. He'll get it. He has like a telephone. Don't worry. Just make it a, make it a cool flick. There you go. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen. Huh? <laughs> Can I try it? Can I, can I have one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving, uh, just so you know, I'm giving him my last cigarette. Oh boy, all right. Now do you have a lighter so I can uh, show you how I like it? You want to smoke it as well? I said I was giving yeah. him a cigarette. No, I want to do this. No. All right. <laughs> all right. There you go. What a cool lighter. What is it, a 29 cent Bic? Yeah, it is actually, yeah. <laughs> Six for a dollar. All right, let me, just, let me just warm up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, that's a problem. I might need help with that. <laughs> 29 cents, what do you expect? <laughs> so you have to suck in. This couldn't, suck be, in. This couldn't be less cool. Wait. Suck in. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 like, we like the eyebrow movement. The, the eyebrows. Do you can the eyebrows. coach me as I'm doing yeah, this. Okay. All right. No, your, that's fem that's feminine ear. right there, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you got those shoes on sale? Ooh. It matches your toy, actually. Now, do you, flick, <laughs> do you flick with the same hand, or do, do, you, do you switch and, and go with your good hand to flick it? Do you just flick I it? smoke with my right, my good hand. And you flick with, oh, yes. well, that's the problem, all right. 
Oh, now we have to do it all again. Oh. <laughs> all right, so we're going to, uh, the fire marshal's going to come and we'll take care of that. Take a break and be right back with more with Kevin James. Don't go away. There's a lot more to come. Welcome back, talking with Kevin Ryan. I accidentally called you Kevin James when I know, I isn't he a He's from the King of Queens, actor, yes, that yes, guy. Yes, yeah, yes. you're nothing like him. No. <laughs> Couldn't be further. So. Yeah. No. So tell us about Cooper. Tell us, like, first of all, um, for people that don't know, what is the show, and then what's your, uh, your character? What's, what's Cooper? Copper. Yeah. Oh, Copper, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it Copper because it's like a cop show, or is it like Copper, like the metal? Both. <laughs> Which is interesting, All right. because uh, where the policeman copper came from was the original badges the New York Police Department had, um, and they were made of copper. Ah. So it's both. I got gotcha. you. Very good. Yeah. What's your, what, what is it about? Uh, it's set in 1864, uh, New York, and it follows um, a detective, uh, Kevin Corcoran, played by Tom Wesson Jones. Uh, he returns from the Civil War, and he's trying to find out what happened to his missing wife and his murdered child. Is there a love interest that you have on the show? Uh, many. I'm a hopeless romantic in the show. Uh, Mike, they keep getting killed. Really? Every, yeah. every, every woman that you're involved with gets killed in the show? Yeah, I mean one of them I killed. Oh, boy. So, are you a bad guy? No, I'm a good guy. It was just, you know, she wasn't right. Yeah. <laughs> the laws were very different back then. Now, is it true that you did a nude scene and your mother actually watched it with you? Not when we shot it. Yeah. Because that would have just been wrong. Yeah. Um, but she saw like the, uh, the yeah, final product. Yeah, we were in New York. We went there and we were doing the premiere and everything like that. And we had a nice family dinner. All my family flew in from Dublin. And uh, we had this great dinner and watched the premiere of the show. So I have my arm around her and we're chatting and it's all great. I haven't seen her in a long time. And then I come on screen naked doing a sex scene. So. And what was her reaction to that? Uh, she didn't say anything, um, which she shouldn't have, really, because it is quite weird. I kind of said, oh, I forgot to tell you I was in that, and I forgot it was coming on, and I sort of just wandered over to the other side of the table. <laughs> yeah. It's embarrassing watching yourself uh, having sexual intercourse in front of your mother. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, you kill them afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 You're like a male black widow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> now there's something else, and I don't know, I don't know what this is, but there's something that you do which is called or know about, called the three thrust rule. Yes. What there is, is the three thrust rule? Well, you know the way in baseball, you have three strikes and you're out. Yes. In television, you have what's called a three thrust rule, and I only found this out during the scene. And that is you can only give three thrusts to be on During a love the scene. Yes. Three, three thrusts. Good thrusts, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I came So could you do like six half thrusts? Well, here's Because that's the way I do them, half thrusts. <laughs> Tell us about being voted one of Ireland's sexiest men. It's like, I guess they have a version of the sexiest man alive, and you were the sexiest man two years in a row. Is that correct? Uh, one of them, I believe. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Is it yeah, for a magazine, or, or how is that? Um, what is the judging crew? I'm not quite sure. Uh -huh. It might take place in a bar. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What do you get for being the sexiest man in Ireland? What do they, what do they uh, bestow upon you? I get to come on your show, John, and talk to you about it. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's all the way to America. You get yeah, to come. All the way, yeah, over, is that the way, it all works? The way yeah. to the West Coast. All the yeah. way to Encino. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's called Encino, by the way, because we ain't seen no money since day one. Oh! Yeah. That's a... You get a drum for that, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Not I'm... one. <laughs> That's his three thrust rule, yeah, just yeah. one. <laughs> Come on, we have three. Work with three yeah. here. Um, I understand that you want to uh, teach me an Irish jig, which oh. uh, I don't even know what that means. I know it's a dance, but I've never done that. Is that true? Yeah, well, I've never actually done it myself, so I don't really want to teach you something I can't <laughs> right. do. But um, you're, going, you're, you're willing to, to teach me, and I'm willing to learn. 
Uh, okay. All right, we're going to do this right after this break. Stay tuned, folks. More laughs to come on The John Kerwin Show. All right, welcome back. We're with Kevin Ryan. Now, tell us why we're doing this Irish jig. You actually did this on the show? We with did it Bar on the show, yeah. Yeah, I, I was doing a scene, and we had to celebrate. We, we killed the bad guys, as cops and robbers do. Um, but, yeah, there was a scene, and I was talking to Barry about it, and it was like, we need to celebrate. Uh -huh. said, well, how would you celebrate? And I said, well, do an Irish dance. So that involved me and Barry sort of in the mud in the studio, rehearsing an Irish jig. Ah, and, um, okay. And how did it go? We have, now we have a little music. Yeah, sure. Should they I start playing now, or do you want to show me something or teach me? Yeah, first of all, I apologize to my country, because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an Irish dancer. So thank you for that. You ready? Yeah, I'm right, ready. So I'm, I'm ready. I've nothing to We're do. We're going at the same time, right? Oh, you're okay. Gonna, you're going to put your foot like that. Yep. Oh, this one, like this. <laughs> okay. All right, like this? Yeah, you're going to put your foot. Okay, okay. And you're just going to give a little tap. Okay. Right, so you're going to tap, and then you're going to bring your foot up. Yep. And then you're going to go back down again. Uh-huh. And then you're going to hop up. But the whole time, you have to keep your hands by your side. So it's like this, this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. dance to teach you. Oh yeah? <laughs> Our musical guest. This is Keaton Simons. I want to thank you for coming and I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Good night. Bye.